Hello my friends, I've actually been back from London for a few days now but I never had the chance to properly sit down and say hi to you and let you know why I went to London in the first place. I mean, it's not like there was a big master plan. The reason I went to London is because I had a couple of business meetings, I wanted to catch up with a couple of my friends and the highlight of my trip was going to see Sam Smith, of course, other than seeing my friend. The next morning we started at Harrods and believe it or not, it wasn't actually for me. My friend was looking to buy her first Lady Dior bag or not really buy, but she wanted to see what Dior had to offer. But Dior was quite busy in the morning. So while we were waiting to see the bags that she was considering, I thought I would take some clips of what Chanel had on display for you because to be really honest, I personally wouldn't feel comfortable spending my own money on most Chanel pieces at this point, especially not when it comes to bags, but they did have plenty of bags on display. There wasn't one that I liked, but if you are into Chanel, this is what Harrods had available at the time, at least what they had on display. The one thing that I was hoping to see was this little pouch bag that I saw. I believe I saw it on Instagram. There is this new pouch bag that Chanel had come out with, which actually unravels a little reusable shopping bag. So it's a little pouch that you can unfold and there is a plastic bag inside that you can use for grocery shopping, which I really think is something that I would be able to take advantage of but I don't think it was on display and I genuinely just was too lazy to ask. And after looking at their bags, which they had plenty of, I think they're calling the Chanel 22 bags on display. And if you thought that they were bad in black, just look at them in white, they are even worse. But anyway, moving on from their bags, I of course had to look at their shoes because you guys know Chanel shoes are the one exception when it comes to Chanel sneakers. I just simply can't resist them. I find them incredibly flattering and unbelievably comfortable. They are definitely by far some of my most worn sneakers that I own. So I of course had to check and unfortunately they didn't have anything available. I think the largest size they had for women was 39 or 38. And then the smallest size that they had for men was 45. So there was really nothing in between for me, which I'm usually a 42. 243 in Chanel sneakers depending on the style and how badly I want them because sometimes I'm willing to suffer in a smaller pair of shoes but unfortunately I had no luck at Chanel which isn't the first and is probably not the last time either that I leave a Chanel store empty-handed but anyway on our way to lunch my friend wanted to stop by Harvey Nicks to pick up the new Fenty fragrance which if you're looking for really powerful beautiful feminine scent you have to check out the Fenty fragrance even I really liked it not for myself it is way too floral and way too sweet for me and not the kind of sweet that I like but it is a beautiful really powerful scent and while we were there I actually came across this brand which I had seen on I want to say Nana Porter called Boy, which is a brand that has quite a few Hermes bag dupes. So here I'm looking at their dupe of the Lindy bag, but they also have an alternative of the Picatin. So if you're looking to add one of these shapes to your collection, but you're not quite sure if you want to spend Hermes kind of money for a unique shape like this, Boy is definitely a brand that I would suggest that you look into. I mean, the quality is day and night you couldn't mention them on the same page with Hermes but the price is also incomparable after an amazing lunch I wanted to stop by Tom Brown for a quick browse but on our way there I came across these incredible vintage jewelry stores that had some no joke, some literal hidden gems. Some of these boutiques had the most amazing selection of vintage Cartier, Bulgari, and even Van Cleef jewelry pieces. Now, I don't have any real knowledge on any one of these boutiques. Some of them did feel a little bit tourist trap-y, but if you know anything about these boutiques, if you know anything about this arcade, please let us know in the comment section. Because one thing is for sure that they had some insanely beautiful and unique pieces at just 
incredible prices so if you're into vintage jewelry if you love designer vintage jewelry especially you have to just stop by for a browse because i mean it is a true eye candy just looking at some of these window displays next up here we are at tom brown where i was supposed to have my measurements taken for a custom suit but their tailor was busy and long story short i mixed up the dates so i never got my measurements taken but i have no doubt i'll be back in london probably before i even know it but regardless i was able to have a browse and i feel like there really wasn't that much for me to see i have this sort of a love and hate relationship with tom brown which is that i love everything that tom brown makes and i hate that i cannot fit into most of their pieces because they have really really specific silhouettes in mind when it comes to most of their pieces but there was this one jacket which is actually new for full winter in fact it's so new that they didn't even have the full size range in this jacket and in this fabric just yet they had this one sample available which they put on display by accident but they were kind enough to let me try it which is their classic golf jacket which is also available in canvas which you'll see in a second but i was interested in the tweed version which i just loved i I'm going to get this jacket, there is no doubt about that. I just have to wait for it to pop up on the site because it's not even available there yet. And the only one that they had available was a sample and the sample size was one. And when it comes to this particular jacket, to my surprise, the right size would have been a zero, which thankfully I was able to try in the canvas version, but unfortunately they didn't have a size zero in the tweed version just yet. So I'm going to wait for it to become available on the site. And as soon as it does, it's a piece that I have to make mine. And one of the highlights of my London trip was going to the Rose London Boutique, which if it's a boutique that you want to visit, it's going to take a little bit of investigation for you to actually find it because it is hidden. There are no signs outside. Obviously, you can look up the address online, but when you get there, it's going to feel like you're going into just like an office building or just a commercial townhouse but it is actually a boutique inside which is as beautifully done as you would expect from the brand now you'll see that they had this little cashmere sweater for bags which i think i posted about on my instagram it's something that was first shown on the runway and i had really high hopes for it i thought it was a really chic piece but seeing it in person for myself I have to admit it was insanely cheaply made and then I did try quite a few pieces at the row while I was there which I posted and shared with you guys on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram but you would like to see some sneak peeks make sure that you do so and before I get into showing you the pieces I think I was showing you my outfit here so I just wore one of my favorite pair of old Louis Vuitton tailoring pants a Prada cashmere shirt, my Burberry trench, and then I had, I think this is actually a raw cashmere sweater thrown over my shoulders. And speaking of cashmere, here's a sweater that I tried on, which is one of my most favorite sweater designs that I have seen in a really long time. It's a really simple sweater, but the sleeves are insanely exaggerated. And you guys know that I'm a sucker for a cool sleeve detail, and I don't think it gets any cooler than this. Now, unfortunately, they only had this available in a size medium, which as you can see, was actually quite big on me. So I have to get it in a small, well, actually, I already got it. I ordered it online, so I'm just waiting for it to arrive because I love this sweater so much because there are so many fun ways in which you can style this. Obviously, you can leave these sleeves hanging, which is going to be impractical, but really unique. You can pull them up and kind of roll them up and just have a little bit more fabric in the sleeves, or you can throw them over your shoulders and tie a little bow in the front, which I think is just so insanely chic looking there are quite a few pieces with these exaggerated sleeve details there are shirts there are sweaters there are turtlenecks which i so wish i could wear but turtlenecks don't suit me that if you've been eyeing the row and if there is a piece that you're looking to add to your collection that is a great staple but there is something unique about it please 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 look into some of these exaggerated sleep pieces because they might look impractical at first but there are so many fun ways for you to style them in and then i also tried on these pair of pants which 
you will see if I bought them or not. All I'm going to say is that I just adore them. Then I also wanted to look at a pair of jeans because one of my favorite pairs of jeans are from the road. They're called the Brian jeans, which they no longer do. But unfortunately, all their jeans, they only had available in the smallest 28 size. And most of their jeans don't have too much stretch to them. So there was just no way that I could make a size 28 work. And my last full day in London, I spent with one of my local friends who was just the most glamorous store guide. We went through all the department stores and checked out their Christmas departments. We started at Selfridges and I have to say that Selfridges, their Christmas department was my favorite. I'll show you what I ended up picking up there in my upcoming haul video. I thought I took more footage, but apparently I didn't, but I really did like what they had to offer. And then we also went to Liberty, which is a department store that I don't love. It feels kind of outdated, but their Christmas department was probably the most charming out of the bunch. And then we ended the day at Harrods. We stopped by the Baccarat bar, which I don't drink, so we didn't really go there for their drinks. We went there for the experience because I love the one in New York. And this one, I mean, it just doesn't really compare. This is basically a bar in a basement. But don't underestimate their snacks because their mac and cheese is one of the best mac and cheese I've had in a really long time. And then we also went to Bottega and Dior. I wanted to go to Bottega to check out this what would you call it? It's kind of a second skin t-shirt, which I really did like. It's part of their spring summer collection. So it is from the previous season, but unfortunately they didn't have it in my size. The one I'm trying on here is a medium and because it's so tight, my arms didn't go through the armholes properly. So I couldn't lift my arms and I didn't have the time to have them order the t-shirt for me. So I went online to see if it's available still on Bottega because it was a couple of weeks ago and it's no longer there. So I have a suspicion it might be getting taken off the side because it's quite old at this point, but it's definitely something that I am looking to hunt down. And then last but not least, I stopped by Dior to see their new infamous underwear, which was shown on the runway. And it is something that I was considering buying, but they didn't end up launching the tailoring pants, the low rise tailoring pants that they were shown with on the runway because I wouldn't be wearing these on their own. Obviously, I would want to style them as they were styled on the runway, but they only had the sweatpant version, which just really isn't my aesthetic. And I almost forgot we also went to Boucheron because I have been looking, I have been toying with the idea of picking up a new bracelet. So I thought I could pick up something from Boucheron and there were a couple of pieces that I liked. I don't remember exactly what these ones are called. I'll make sure to put their name up on the screen here. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size available in any one of the designs that I liked. And kind of in hindsight, I'm glad I didn't have them order anything else because they were a little bit underwhelming for the price. And my friends, this completes our adventure to London together. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, especially because I'll be uploading three times a week during the month of November and December. And I have plenty of new fun videos coming your way that I know you don't want to miss, but I really appreciate you being here and watching. And I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon.